What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. And this is another case of Microsoft actually beating Sony. Now, this this tit for tat is going to persist. It's going to continue to happen. Microsoft and Sony are bitter enemies and they will fight tooth and nail for every single cent in the pants or purses of video game consumers. And one way that I say that Microsoft consistently wins they keep catching wins is through their backwards compatibility program. Xbox One backwards compatibility is leagues better than anything PlayStation has offered. The fact that you can have an Xbox 360 game disc, put it in, bam, and it just installs on your Xbox One. You spend no money. And on top of that, a lot of these games you can download directly from the Microsoft Store and put it on your Xbox One console. I think it's amazing. I think it's incredible. I love it. Uh, you know, a lot of these games that Microsoft's been giving away, uh, I've never even had a chance to play because during the seventh generation, I was more in love with the PlayStation side of gaming. I mean, that's just me being honest. You know, I've kind of grown and opened my mind and, and I, I try other things. I play new games and I just enjoy what gaming has to offer in general. I, and, and I'm just enjoying it. But when it comes to backwards compatibility, some really, really popular games have come to the Xbox One recently. They've recently done Modern Warfare, and they even more recently did Red Dead Redemption for the Xbox uh, One, which is Xbox 360 backwards compatible. So PlayStation gamers who don't have something like that uh, really have no recourse other than to pull out the PlayStation 3 or pull out the Xbox 360 to play these games. And on top of that, if they do bring it to PlayStation, you're going to have to pay quite quite a bit for it. It's not going to be free like the Xbox One's uh, Xbox 360 rendition of Red Dead Redemption, which is a huge game. But PlayStation did get something, and uh, I'll give you my thoughts at the end of the story. I'll drop a link in the description. No Red Dead Redemption, no problem. PlayStation 4 gets a different Rockstar classic. By now, you've all heard the news. The much-requested Red Dead Redemption is now playable on Xbox One via backwards compatibility. It's not playable on PlayStation 4, and we've heard nothing about a remaster despite regular bursts of hopeful rumors and speculation. But don't worry, PlayStation 4 fans, Rockstar hasn't forgotten about you. As of this week, you can pick up The Warriors from the PlayStation Store, a surprise release not advertised in advance. What is The Warriors, you may ask? Well, it's an even older Rockstar game developed by the Toronto Studio. It originally launched on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox in 2005, later releasing for PSP, and finally for PlayStation 3 in 2013. Based on the 1979 movie of the same name, it's an action affair mostly focused on melee fighting, and lovingly faithful to the source material. Players must help the gang battle through 60,000 enemies to reach their home turf, 20 miles away across New York, after they've been wrongly accused of killing a rival leader. Converted to the PlayStation 2 build, the PS4 build boasts full 1080p up-rendered along with trophies, share play, remote play, activity feeds, and second screen support for game manuals with the PlayStation Vita and PS app. The Warriors is one of those games that gets forgotten despite strong reviews and fervent fans. A 2006 lawsuit reported that Game of Sutra claimed it generated $37 million in revenue. Does having this 11-year-old cult favorite on the PlayStation 4 make up for the lack of Red Dead Redemption backwards compatibility? Uh, in my opinion, hell no, it doesn't. Uh, because the game is not a free game, first of all. Uh, it is part of the PlayStation 4's uh, emulation, which is going to be a $15 game. I don't even have to look at my PlayStation 4 because I know how Sony is doing it. They're emulating PlayStation 2 classics and they're selling to you for $15 a pop. Microsoft, on the other hand is giving people Xbox 360 games pretty much for free. If you have the disc, you're good to go. You don't have to spend any money. So anybody will tell you this. Rockstar's The Warrior game versus Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption is really no competition at all. Uh, this is not in any way, shape, or form compensation to PlayStation gamers uh, for Xbox One gamers being able to play Red Dead Redemption on their 8th generation console. I think, honestly... Uh, Innovation begets innovation. PlayStation, while I do give them credit for trying to bring PlayStation 2 games to current-gen gamers, there's some really amazing classics on PlayStation 2 that I think everybody playing on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 need to play. You know, I'm old now. I'm 36 years old. There are a lot of 17, 18-year-olds who've never played PlayStation 2 classics 
and, and original Xbox classics. Uh, but with that being said, the way that Microsoft is doing it with their Xbox One compared to Sony is honestly just kicking the hell out of, out of PlayStation. Microsoft's backwards compatibility destroys PlayStations, and hopefully PlayStation can come up with a new strategy uh, to allow PlayStation gamers to get their hands on some of these backwards compatible games. You guys let me know in the comment section below, did you play the Warriors on old school consoles? And if you did, how would you compare that to Red Dead Redemption? To me, Red Dead Redemption is one of the best games of the seventh generation. There's really no competition for me. I actually like that game more than any Grand Theft Auto. I thought it was amazing. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, and let me know what you think. Uh, about PlayStation 2 emulation on PS4 for $15 a pop versus Xbox One's Xbox 360 free emulation. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.